The influence of parent and child needs on co-residents in middle middle and later life by Russell Ward, John Logan, and Glenda Spites. So basically in this article, they start off by talking how that although that co-residency um, between parents and adult children is not like a typical normative thing in society, that it's doesn't that it's doesn't that, that that despite that it doesn't mean that it's uncommon. So basically that the the whole concept of an adult child's co-residing with a parent has been an increasing um I I think something that's been increasing and a more common thing that's been go going on. He says that co-residence by older parents is attributed to parental dependency viewing shared ho housing in the context of support and caregiving. And, um, and he says that an emerging literature, so that there's been um, a lot of, of research on that suggests that it is the needs of of broadly this of the circumstances of the children that account for co-residency with both middle age and older parents. And this paper basically just reinforces and extends the literature and the viewpoint by investigating co-residence in a representative community sample and employing a balanced combination of parent and child characteristics as predictors of the specific co-residency. So basically in this article, they are going to be focusing on the co-residency um, in a co community sample, and they're going to be testing out um, parental characteristics and child characteristics as predictors for the specific co-residency. Um, then he continues to say that um, other studies on this subject have found that housing arrangements in indicate um, that although co-residency is not typical, it is neither uncommon, like he said before. They go on to say that... Um, in literature, uh, in the research on this subject, there's a lot of less attention that has been given to the co-residents than to the intergenerational interactions and assistance within the co-residency between the uh, um, adult residing child and the middle to later life aged parent. He says that um, in, the re in pre other research, they have noted that co-residency declines with the child's age, and that this can be viewed as a reflection of declining needs uh, for the parental home as the home base or the safety net because the adult the, because the child is already getting older and reaching more of that stage of adulthood um so they don't need the parents um house as some to, as the, their safety net anymore um they all have, he then goes on to say that in other research um evidence of gender differences is in co-residency, it's very mixed. In some studies, they report that older persons, particularly those who are um, widowed, are more likely to like to live with a daughter. And then um, reports that divorced or widowed women aged 40 and up are somewhat more likely to live with sons. So um, th that's what another study found. So he um, he's just talking about how um, when um, focusing on gender roles, um, on this subject, the research is very varied and mixed. He says that um, in, re in uh, previous research, age and gender differences in co-residents are likely to be resulted, uh, I mean related, excuse me, to um, the marital status of that child. And that um, they have also found in research that um, a related and com complicating factor is whether the child themselves has, whether that child the the co -resi the residing child has a child himself. Um, the, they also have found in previous research, research that the marital status of one's children has particular significance, reflecting the child's need and or availability for shared housing, and that there are also indications that parental health affects co residency. So, um, in summary of the literature review. There are plenty of indicators that, at least for older parents, parents' needs reflected in poor health, lower socioeconomic status, and widowhood all play a role into co-residency. And however, declines in co-residence with both child and parent age and the particular significance of child marital st status suggest that the needs, res resources, and um, situations of children play a greater role than of the parents. So now onto the data 
I mean the methods, excuse me. So data from um, the data in this article was collected from a personal interview survey conducted in the Albany in the Albany she, section of Troy section of Troy, and it was in New York metropolitan area from, 19, from September 1988 to February 1989. There was 1,200 people aged 40 and over who were interviewed in the in in the country area. And um, the respondents were aged range from 40 to 100 with a median of um, 58 age and the respondents were and 64 of the respondents were female. That's just something to know. And then in terms of the social economic status, the median income for these um, respondents um, were 25, 25 to 29,999 range and media education was about 12 years. Um, this analysis is based on those 811 people who had at least one co-residing adult child um, aged 22 years or older and on information of 2,358 their individual adult children. So um, the sampling in this um, study was included the selection of 120 block groups in the country with probability and proportionate to size and then with e within each of these blocks of the groups interviewers were selected housing units and adults um, among those over 40 in the household using random choice methods and then the respondents would be questions about all children including biological and stepchildren and this is how they gather their information about characteristics of the respondent and each of um, their children. And now on to the results. So the major findings of this article was that um, child needs and situations are the primary determinants of co-residency throughout the life course. Um, they found that parent characteristics such as health, marital, and employment status have very little bearing on the on co-residency in in either middle or later life and that child's characteristics are more important predictors of the co-residency um in particular they found that um regardless of parent and child's age um never married children dominated um co-resident situations and then it, it is children who um have greater need for parental housing and or less need for independent housing who co-reside with both middle-aged and older parents. So that was like the major findings. They also found that, excuse me, that the primary role for ch child needs does not exclude a role for other factors including parental need. They found that parental divorce reduces coercence with stepchildren and non Custodial children, suggesting a disruption of parent children ties. They found that the presence of a third generation, so like a grandchild, um, would limit parent willingness or ability to share the housing with um, the child. And they found that having an unmarried sibling also was um, reduced co residency, which may reflect um, the ability of the parent to meet child's housing needs or alternatively the availability of substitutes to meet parental needs. Um, and lastly, um, this study provides a cross-sectional snapshot of the co-residency and he says that um, after this research there is still a need to investigate the overall risk of co-residency in the lives of the children, in the aspect of the lives of the children and the parents. And he says that in this present study, it indicates how the taking that that taking the child as the unit of an analysis and adopting a more balanced consideration of the needs and situations of both children and parents throughout the life course are more fruitful avenues for this research. So basically, by using children as like the main children characteristics as the main predictors of co residency and using that that as a base for for pre, um, further research and future research is the best way to go when trying to research this subject just because um, of what they have found in this study which is that um, child characteristics are much more um, prominent in 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 predictors for co residency over parent characteristics and that's basically the major findings of this um, article